Hey guys, this is Goni here from tech for joy and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Google Pixel 2's portrait mode on any Android phone running Android 8.0 or above. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, you have to make sure that you are running the Android 8.0 Oreo or 8.1. So I will link some custom ROMs in the description below so you can check them out. And I'm running this on a Redmi 3S and it's working perfectly fine for me apart from some camera UI lags and uh, that's uh, pretty normal for a beta camera mode APK so without wasting any time let's get started so first of all you have to go to the link provided in the description so open your web browser and just copy the link provided in the description This will take you to a Google Drive link and just click on go and you will find this blue download button click on this and your download should start now as you can see click on this download button and the download is started now as you can see now I have already downloaded it so just browse to the file where have you been downloaded the file and just go to the file manager go to downloads and click on the file downloaded just now now just click on install as you can see the app is installed now just go back and go to the app drawer and you will see this GC mode 5 application now this is a camera application now as you can see it's just like a simple Google camera app now on the left you have the option of slow motion panorama photosphere slow motion does not work but panorama photosphere works as you can see this is the panorama now as you can see we also have the option of photosphere that also works perfectly fine as you can see you can also use photosphere now this is the main mode that is the portrait mode so you have the option to tap to focus and also you can adjust the exposure and uh, you also generally have the camera options that we do find on the google camera app as you can so see on the top this is the face richer touching you can turn it off or on also you can turn on the grid lines also there is option of color temperature and uh, there is option for flash to turn off or on now this portrait mode works only for human beings and uh, you can switch to the front camera but when you take the picture the picture comes out with a green tint so technically speaking it not uh, works for me and you can also take static pictures like other cameras and do have also the options of the timer and the motion picture that's like the live photo on the iPhone so now let's go to settings I will suggest you to don't change the settings just go with the normal default settings that will be awesome and the video does not work in this camera app as you can see it gives a camera error so now let me show you some camera samples now these are the camera samples outdoor without portrait and this is the same pic with portrait now this is another sample without portrait and this is another sample with portrait now here are some more samples in indoor lighting conditions as you can see it struggles in indoor lighting as you can see the hair is not focused now this is uh, one more example without portrait and this is with portrait you notice that the bokeh is very perfectly done as you can see one more sample
so as you have seen the camera samples now and you can judge the quality of the bokeh behind the focus object or the person so that's pretty impressive that a portrait mode of google pixel 2 is running on such a low budget device that is the redmi 3s and uh, if you have a great camera like the um, moto g5 s plus or moto g5 plus or the mi a1 and so you will get a lot of a lot better portraits by using this pixel portrait mode portrait mode does not work for the front facing camera and also the video does not work in this app you can use other camera apps or the stock camera app of your phone to record videos and the videos are not available in portrait mode they are standard videos and i will suggest you to use this camera app in the the normal mode don't uh, play with the settings and yeah but you can use the panorama and the photosphere also slow motion does not works so if your phone does not have slow motion facility in the stock camera it will not work in this camera also so this camera app is mainly for the portrait mode and it also takes about five to six seconds to process the portrait mode so you have to be aware of that so yeah that's pretty much it for the video please like and share the video please subscribe to the channel this is going from tech for joy see you next time